Daniel at the Assessment Toolbox here. Let's look at types of questions you can add to your Google form. So this button right here is how we add a question type, but I've gone ahead and added the main type so that you can see them easily. And also let's take a look. If I click on this guy, this drop down menu is where I can switch between all these different types. So obviously you can read through these and see what they are, but I want to talk about uh, just the most common ones and then show you some examples of each of these. So under student view I think is the best way to view it so you can see. And here's multiple choice. Students can only select one response. It's very important that if you need students to check multiple answers that you give them a checkbox option. And so for this question right here I've got students answering multiple things. Even if your answer key has under multiple choice multiple correct answers students will only be able to select one of it. So if you need them to answer multiple, use check boxes. Otherwise, you can go ahead and use uh, multiple choice like that. If you want to know about adding images to your questions, you can look at this video right up here. Let's continue on. There's the short answer and a long answer section uh, of options as well. And so these are right here short answer and paragraph. If you only need students to write a really little um, section, then, uh, such as four years, you can do the short answer right there. But if you need a longer response, such as like an essay question, give them the paragraph one. Okay, those are the most common ones that I use. I do want to give you a brief tour of what these other ones look like and uh, just a suggestion or an idea of how you might use these. But be creative and use these in some awesome ways. Leave a comment uh, explaining how you use some of these rarer question types in creative ways that other teachers would benefit from. So here, this one right there, that matching grid is the multiple choice grid. If you need them to select multiple boxes per section, do the checkbox grid. But let's see. So they can only do one per. Okay. And so let's get these right. There we go. That's what that looks like right there. Okay, this is obviously a very difficult question, maybe for like an AP class or something, but you can have a student's answer with a date. And then here's just an idea of how they could use a rating scale. They could say their confidence. And then there's also a clock option in there where they could put that. So the date and time right there. File upload, lastly, is students can upload a file. Uh, maybe if you have them type an essay in a Word doc, they could share it that way. So those are some ideas for you. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want more videos like this.